Go. Okay, so today we have a patient, Miss Jones. She is a six-year-old female admitted two days ago for an asthma exacerbation. Upon arrival, her mom reports that Jane began having cold-like symptoms four days ago. Her vital signs upon arrival in the ED were a heart rate of 167, a respiratory rate of 40, and a SAT of 86. She had bilateral wheezing and coarse breast sounds. She was placed on a four liter nasal cannula and put on an hour long albuterol treatment. The patient was moved to the floor where she remained stable. Last night, the patient decompensated and was put on a vapotherm. She also received three hour long albuterol treatments. Currently, the patient is having increased work of breathing, retractions, and is pale. Upon examination, her breast sounds are bilateral wheezes throughout with little air movement. The patient's SAT is 84%. We have given the max dose of albuterol, and the patient, the patient is not able to oxygenate, and she's having increased work of breathing, so the recommendation is then to be intubated. Um, the patient is now intubated. She is placed on volume control due to the airway swelling with a tidal volume of 190, a rate of 1 of 20, um, a PEEP of 5 and FIO2 of 100%. 30 minutes after being placed on, her blood gas is a pH of 7.23, PIO2 of 98, PCO2 of 56, and a bicarb of 25. So we are, patient is in respiratory acidosis, so we are going to increase her rate to 25 to try to blow off some CO2. One hour later, after the setting changed, a new blood gas is drawn. The results are a pH of 7.35, a PAO2 of 110, a PCO2 of 45, and a bicarb of 26. The low tidal volume alarm on the ventilator keeps triggering. The patient is assessed. There's no leaks around the cuff, so we check the ventilator circuit tubing. We find that there is a small leak right where the circuit connects to the endotracheal tube. It was, it got moved and is not placed on correctly, so we tighten the circuit. There is no more leak and the low tidal volume alarm does not alarm. Um, the patient is now beginning to wake up and initiating breaths on her own. So we are going to place her on a CPAP of five and a pressure support of five with an FiO2 of 30. So we are going to change modes. Pressure support of five, PEEP of five, FIO2 of 30. Um, 30 minutes after that, her blood gas shows a pH of 7.36, a PAO2 of 100, and a PCO2 of 39 with a bicarb of 25. The physician assesses the patient and determines that they are a candidate for extubation. She has clear breast sounds. As the team goes to get the necessary equipment, they receive a stat response that the patient has self-extubated themselves. When the respiratory therapist arrives, the nurse is giving blow by oxygen treatment. The patient sat is 96 with a respiratory rate of 20 and a heart rate of 130. Her breast sounds are clear with no strider and the patient appears pink with no retractions or increased work of breathing. The patient is placed on a one liter nasal cannula and moved to the floor for monitoring.